Hey guys, good morning. It is Saturday for me, and today's vlog is going to be kind of a little bit different. So, we had a great week. There's lots of fun things going on. I'll talk about it in different vlogs. But unfortunately, our week ended with Natalie being sick, and I had to take her to urgent care, and she's going to be okay. And she's on medicine. She's got an ear infection and an illness that she picked up at camp. So, she'll be on medicine all week long. And then hopefully be able to go back on Monday. But, um,. Long and short of it is, is we had some fun things planned to do here in Huntsville this weekend, but she and I are unable to go because she's got to stay at home all weekend long. So Dan took Isabella, they're out doing fun things at the U.S. Space and Rocket Center, so I'm not going to have any video of that because they're just off doing their thing. There's like a really cool car show today that we were supposed to go to, and um, they're just doing a lot of fun events. Because the 50th anniversary of the Apollo moon landing is happening this week, so maybe by the time you're watching this it's already over. But anyhow, I'm planning on having a lot of fun science STEM related videos on my channel this week. Um, it's a great week to be in Huntsville, and hopefully Natalie will be um, better soon so we can take part in some of those events. The long and short of it is is that completely changed all my plans for today. Luckily I'd already planned on being off work today. Um, but I was like, well, I'm stuck at home. I might as well just use today as a cleaning day. So I'm just going to try to clean as much as possible. I've actually got everything laid out here in the bathroom. I'm getting ready to give Penguin a bath. I've already got some laundry running. I'm doing dishes in the dishwasher, so I thought I'd just take you along for a cleaning day. So I'm just trying to use up the remaining bit of this that we have. We had been giving him baths in here, but actually the past couple times, um, I had given him showers, or not showers, but I have that thing that can come off of there, so I'd actually been washing him in our, um, in our shower. So we're gonna do that today and kind of see how he does. There he is, come here, come on, come get a treat. You wanna take a bath? Come on, let's go. Nope, or not. Apparently he's decided that a bath right now is a whole lot of nope. He walked away and came to his kennel and laid down. <laughs> so apparently I may be re rearranging the order of things. All right, well we're in the right room now. We just to get him in here. I think he's confused. I think he wants to go in the bathtub. All right, we got him in here. We're getting his bath going. <laughs> I think he's just having a hard time transitioning from being in the bathtub to using the shower. Good boy, Penguin. Good boy. He got his bath, now he's going to dry him off. <laughs> this is how he dries himself off. By going crazy. All over the carpet. After I've towel dried him, he finished it off. You want a treat? You're a good boy. So the next thing I'm gonna work on is laundry and I've got Isabella's laundry here. I'm gonna go ahead and sort this out. And the one thing I was gonna mention, um, we got into an interesting laundry discussion on Instagram, I think it was. And how I do my laundry is everyone has their own like hamper in their room where they keep their dirty laundry. So this is clean, I'm gonna sort that out. But everyone has their own hampers. Like this is Isabella's hamper in her closet. So they put their dirty laundry in there and then I do each person's laundry individually. So like Isabella will fill her hamper and then we do laundry for each person at least once a week if not more, but at least once a week. So I'll take her hamper and usually dump it in one of these portable hampers. And then take it, do it, and then after it's done bring it back to the room and fold it and then put it away. For me, it seems to work out pretty well because, I gotta get the hangers out to hang things up. For me, it works out pretty well because you're not spending a lot of time like dumping the kids' clothes together and stuff like that. I've done this since they were little um, and I, I don't think I've mentioned it for a long time, but that's how I even did their clothes when they were babies. It's because they're so close in age. Um, their sizes are different, but their sizes are so close that I didn't want to spend time, you know, like Isabella's socks look like this. Well, Natalie's are not that much smaller, so it would take forever trying to sort out who belongs to what and what belongs to who. So this is just how I've always done it, and it worked out really great for me. So laundry is really manageable, and I do everyone's laundry once a week. It goes straight through the washer and dryer cycle from one of these bins, straight out of the dryer in one of these bins, and then back up to the person's room to get put away. So 
it's pretty efficient. I really like it. So if you're looking for other ways to make your laundry easier, this might be a good way to try So Isabella is luckily not sick and she is just so hanging out. Moves. She's tracking her exercise on her VTEC watch. 3,235 3, moves. Yeah. What's your goal for today? Oh, my goal was 10,000. Cool. 10,000. Did you reach your goal? Is that why you just made that little noise? Mm-hmm. Cool. Good job. Okay, I got this all emptied out, all those clothes put away, so I'm going to head down and get Natalie's laundry out of the dryer and go put hers away. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to work on putting Natalie's laundry away. She's usually really good about coming in and helping me, and she actually usually does the majority of it. But since she is not feeling well today, she actually feels okay, but since she's quote-unquote sick, I'm going to go ahead and give her a pass, um, and I will take care of it. And I have my trusty assistant, Penguin, <laughs> in case I need any help. So we have a mid-afternoon thunder shower coming through. It should hopefully be about rolling out here. So these guys are working on a magic show. And Dan just went to go get Chinese food for dinner. Intermission will last until I wake up. Here's another member of your audience. So I basically have spent most of the day trying to get caught up in laundry. I've done sheets and washed blankets, pretty much like anything Natalie's used. I'm trying to disinfect and sanitize and just make sure that it's all been washed. So I'm going to do all the sheets and towels again tomorrow. This is how I normally do it whenever someone's sick. Um, you know, like if they sleep on it, they're still kind of in that window where it's kind of iffy. I just wash everything again, um, you know, put an extra change of sheets on and wash what was on there. So I will do that again tomorrow and then we should hopefully have everyone's laundry caught up, um, things changed out and knock on wood, hopefully by Monday she's good, everyone else is good, fingers crossed, that's the plan. So <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Um, but I've got towels and getting out of the dryer and I just got this blanket out that was on the couch. I washed this as well. So I'm gonna get this folded and put away. <laughs> but obviously she's feeling pretty good, so that's good. <laughs> 